I'm Cindy Kuhn, and I have the Ross House, so welcome. And what I want to do here is I want to give you a little bit of history as to why there is so much activity here. And there's actually, uh, to know why is to know what all happened in this end of Bel Air. Back in the 1800s, uh, this land here was owned uh, by a couple of very wealthy men, and one was the Hetheringtons, and the other was Captain John Fink. They owned acres upon acres of land. They were also uh, miners, owned coal mines, and they owned steamboats here in the, in the Ohio Valley. And uh, John Fink actually owned this area right here, and he actually lotted off 49 and a half acres for people to build and a gentleman by the name of Charles Anderson actually built this house and, um, and owned it for a while until he sold it to a uh, uh, Mr. Gratz who owned a grocery store across the street. But the reason that there is so much activity through here is because of the land. Um, this area was beyond a happening place. Uh, you look at it now, it's nothing. But we had Eleanor Roosevelt coming here to visit. Eleanor Roosevelt. Mm -hmm. Bob Hope was here. I mean, we had movie stars here. As people would come by and this, they'd get on the steamboats, get off in Bel Air. They'd come down here to this end of town to do their shopping. Uh, there was, they stayed at the Globe Hotel. It was a very beautiful stone hotel. They would come right here and they would do their shopping for their dry goods, their... Um, you know, anything they needed, this was where you came. Uh, and not only that, but, uh, we, you know, the area is haunted because th we lay up, we're on a ley line here, and that ley line is a constant source of activity. So I believe, without a doubt, that that's one of the reasons this place has activity. We have coal mine explosions down, I mean coal mine fires, um, we have the French and Indian War that happened. You know, there was fighting right here. Uh, we actually have some uh, little, I'll show you the things in there. But uh, this house in particular uh, changed hands a few times. It was uh, built by Charles, Charles Anderson, like I said, but and sold to the, um, to the Gratz who had the grocery store. And then it was sold to a family by the name of Harry Weeks who seemed to stick around here for quite a while and raise his family and they had twin boys. Um, and we seem to have uh, a couple uh, little boys who are uh, active in this house um, and they are uh, intelligent spirits who will respond. Uh, we've heard laughter, especially laughter right in here and upstairs, in one upstairs bedroom. We've heard a lot of giggling and we believe that's the, that's the weak boys that are doing that. So anyhow, the weeks had it until they moved on and uh, and then Fred and Marie Getros bought this house. And the reason they bought it was strictly to raise and sell chinchillas. And they also skinned them for their fur. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. And they had this for quite a while. Chinchilla fur was quite popular for women for their coats. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You know, back in the day, if you had a nice little, you know, fur coat with the chinchilla fur, that was a, a statement. So uh, Fred actually passed away here in, in 1975, uh, and Marie lasted until 1990. In 1990, the family of the Getros was sold it to my family, the Rosses, and we've had this house ever since. Now this house was, uh, after we bought it, was rented out to different people, um, construction workers, because there was a lot of construction in the area. Until my dad got tired of that, and then we it, it turned into just a place to collect anything broken, furniture that was broken, air conditioners that didn't work anymore, stove parts, you name it, it came in here. Um, my family has the antique store next door. So in 2016, myself and my partner that I had, my she's my girlfriend, and we went into business together. We both liked escape rooms, so we decided to open an escape room here. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we did that, and that's when I found out that this place actually had a lot of activity. And and as I'm cleaning things out, things started happening. And as I'm painting and 
uh, just doing all this stuff, you name it, it was, I mean, there was movement on the stairs, people walking down the stairs, there was, uh, you know, things moving on me, voices, and that's what uh, kind of, uh, well, it scared me, to be honest with you, it totally scared me, because I had no idea about the spirit world or anything like that, uh, and at that point, um, I knew that uh, we were, we had more than just an escape room, we, we had spirits, but sometimes um, that became a little scary. So yeah. what happened was um, I tried to downplay the spirit part. Um, we started to get ready to open, and uh, this where we're sitting at right now used to be the lobby. And I have my nephew here, and uh, I was working, and I got a call, and um, he's, uh, I was working in Washington, PA, and he said, Code Orange, Aunt Cindy, Code Orange. And I said, what's Code Orange, Brent? And he says, there's stuff happening. And what he told me was, he had everybody out here, there used to be a big sign where you, we post everyone for their photo. He said that door was closed, and it started rattling on him. And I said, well, that's... You know, it's a busy road. He said, no, it's rattling. And other things kept happening. So uh, just it just kept going on and on and on. And I started getting scared myself. So I called in a lady uh, right down the street that my family knew by the name of Kristen Lee, who has the Blair House. And she was very helpful. She came up here and was explaining to me what was going on and the fact that it wouldn't hurt anybody, and we continued to do business here at, with uh, with Escape Zone. <clears throat> well, after a while, um, you know, it's hard sometimes to um, have a business here and also have these spirits who were interfering, you know, and scaring the health. So Escape Zone is now located in Cambridge, Ohio. And with this house here, we just turned it into full-time investigations for anybody who wants to come in. But they were actually starting to come in after Kristen had uh, come in here. People were putting out little videos and uh, on YouTube about what they found. Um, the time that I really got scared here was when um, I was waiting on Sean Austin, who... Uh, I don't know if anybody knows Sean Austin. He has a 28 Days Haunted. He was in, he's in he's in quite a few things. But I was waiting on him to show up, and I was sitting behind the desk over there, and I felt like I was being surrounded by people. And it, they kept feeling like they, it was getting tighter and tighter, and I called him. He told me he was still an hour out. So I said, I gave the code to the door, and I said, I have to go. I just didn't <laughs> stay here any longer. Another time I got scared was when uh, my sister was here and we thought we saw the face of a man upstairs. But people have caught many things here. Um, and uh, now, you know, what I do is I, um, I let people come in. They can spend the night here and they can see what they catch. But if there is resident spirits, intelligent spirits here that uh, have interacted with a lot of people. You know the names of, um, have, or have you identified some of the spirits that you mm -hmm. said the children? Kenneth, oh uh, yeah, the Weeks boys, Kenneth and Keith. Kenneth and Weeks. Yeah, two, uh, they're twin, Are twin they, boys. Is it Weeks? Weeks. Weeks, mm -hmm. okay. Kenneth yeah. and... Uh, Kenneth and Keith. Keith, okay. Yeah. Keith and Kenneth. Yeah. But the, the spirits that hang out here tend to be the two boys, because there's a lot of giggling. Uh, and we also have a spirit by the name of Alfred that's here quite a bit. And uh, uh, Alfred hangs out in this other room here, and he's corresponded quite a few times. Intelligent conversation. Oh, wow. And the funny thing is, um, and there was never an Alfred that owned this house. I know mm -hmm. everybody who owned the house. But we're on a trail to, because we think it could be Alfred Sacanini who lived across the street. Hmm. His house is tore down. Okay, so and Alfred Zaccanini passed away in 1925, but I have a feeling this is the same Alfred, okay, but Alfred <laughs> is in that room there, and he, he will uh, communicate. In fact, he was communicating last night. Um, we also have Marie Getros, um, who Fred and Marie Getros were the last people to own this house before we did, before we bought it. Uh, 
and Marie is, um, is she actually will communicate with you. And uh, Marie has many times uh, actually talked to people after they have left and come to them in her in their dreams about what she'll be cooking if they come back. It, it's very interesting, actually. So. And they were um, were they the homeowners before your family? Yes. Yeah. Fred and Marie Getras. Fred passed away of a heart attack. They feel it. It was a heart attack. He passed away in his sleep. Um, and then Marie passed away in 1990. Okay. Yeah. And it was here that she yes. passed away here, too? Yeah, she passed okay. away here. Yeah. Marie. Mm-hmm. Oh. So, and Marie has made herself known. She has told uh, people when she's, when she's in the rough bathroom, she'll tell them to get out, you mm -hmm. know, she's getting dressed. Uh, she has uh, made comments about she doesn't like this certain dress that I have upstairs in her room. She wants that dress gone. It's not hers. Um, you'll see the dress that, that I'm talking about. But uh, yeah, there's, uh, but there seems to be, you know, with being on the ley line, and a constant flow of water, spirits come and go here. You know, you, other spirits come in. You know, but we have a, a couple that are always here. Where do you want to start at? Well, um, I want to start. Um, we know you. You know me. I want to start here and let everybody know I am at the Ross House. Yeah. And this house has had generations who have stayed here. I'm in Bel Air, Ohio. And there are multiple spirits that are here. And I'm about to do a walkthrough and see if anybody here would like to talk to me. Heart. Heart. Okay, well, that's nice. All right. So this is basically the living room here. See, we kind of just been getting a feel of the place, um, but I haven't got to really walk around much and see how the rooms are. I did get a walkthrough with Cindy. Say thank you to Cindy. She runs this place. The doll's here. That's Peggy at the top there. Hello, Peggy. And then the middle, Susie and Trevor. And at the bottom, there she is. Hi, Gretchen. There's Gretchen. These belong to the people whose names correspond with them, and they have passed away. And these dolls are here. There's Peggy. Peggy had an accident, and she lost her other leg there, so... Sorry, girl. I only have one leg, but... It's nice to meet you. Drain? Well, we're probably going to get some camera drain, some battery drain here. And then in the room here, this is another area. You can call it a, another dining room. And in here, this is where Alfred spends his time. Hello, Alfred. I did put a cat toy there on the table. So if Alfred or if anybody would like to come over... They can activate that and let us know that they're here. I'm not sure you probably have seen them here, but look, see how the lights dance and light up? If you're able to do that, that's a way that you can let us know you're here with us. Two of the other homeowners here were Marie and Fred. Their room is upstairs, so we're going to go through a walkthrough up there. Cindy has told us about some of the things that they've experienced here, and she knows that there's a lot of activity here. They can hear footsteps coming up and down here. There are spirits of two children here from one of the family before Fred and Marie. Kenneth and Keith. Weeks is their last name. There are two boys. They say their spirits are here, too. So hello, Marie and Fred, Kenneth and Keith. Hello. In the basement, there's a spirit of a girl. Her name is Anna. They're not quite sure what the connection is. 
And there's a man down there with her. Allison. Allison. Hello, Allison, if you're here. And I see there's a man down in the basement that's with Anna. And he's got a pretty big, nice handlebar-like mustache, from what I understand, from what I was told. Maybe we can communicate and we can find out his name. Here's the kitchen. You see, we had some pizza, and I offered the spirits some pizza if they were hungry. Maybe they'd like to have some. After all, we are a visitor here in their house. Now, some of the activity they've had here. It's me. It's you? Well, hello. If you'd like to use this device and tell me your names, I would appreciate it. This door has moved on its own before. They say that sometimes if the spirits are in the bathroom, they'll let you know that they're in there and to get out. I've heard that. I know it sounds kind of funny, but hey, you know, if the spirit's in there. I'll prove I'm here. All right. That's great. Thank you. And also, this door right here. It's just a closet door, but they've had activity at this door. So I got some devices on this door, and I have one upstairs as well. This door has rattled from time to time. They can't explain why. Maybe it's Alfred. But if whoever is here, if you're the one that can rattle the door, please feel free. Let us know you're here and rattle the door for us. But we're still in the setup process here, so I'm just going to take you guys through a walkthrough. And let's see if there's anybody here that would like to talk to us. What's your name? Michael. You can call me Mike. Did you hear that? What? What was it? I'm not I'm not joking either. It sounded like a voice. So you said where you were right. It said what's your name? And I said, My name's Mike. And I, I heard it and it sounded like a vibration. But I heard hi Mike. Really? I'm not <laughs> I'm not kidding. We'll see if the audio picked it up. Green hair. Green hair. Okay, hello. Okay, here's the bathroom. I was told that if Marie sometimes is in here and you come into this room, she'll let you know to get out. Are you in here, Marie? This door is attached to the old store that was next door to it. This door opens by itself, I was told. So I did have a motion sensor here. So if this door has any activity, we'll know. save Marie's room for after I go in here. You're aware of me? Yes. Hello. This is one of the first rooms up here. Really not sure who stayed in here before. I'm going to set up my REM pod right here. I'm going to set it down here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You can call me Mike. 
Yeah, I got a box there. I think somebody maybe has noticed it. This box here on the floor, though. See how I make the uh, lights go off and it has that beep? If you get close to that, that's one way you can let me know that you're here with me. And I have a ball here. I'm going to set the ball on the bed. See the ball flashing? I'm going to wait for the ball to stop here. There you go. And if somebody is here, if you're able to make that ball light up, you could make that ball light up and let me know that you're here with me. And I do have this little box in my hand right here. This will beep. Maybe trapped here. you're trapped here. Well, I'm sorry that you're trapped here. If you feel like you're trapped here, can you let me know that you're here with me? That you understand me by making the ball light up that's on the bed there? I'm going to set this device right here on the bed as well. If you can make either of those two devices light up or beep, let me know that you're the person that said you're trapped here. Stepping on a crunchy part of the floor here. I haven't actually checked the closet over there yet. Look at the plasma ball. It's pretty sweet. This place was going to be an escape room before they decided to open it up strictly for paranormal investigations. So some of these rooms have been themed. So when I go into these rooms, you might see different kinds of wallpaper. Cry. Cry. I'm sorry. Please don't cry. I hope you're not sad. Check out the closet here. Air conditioners, huh? All right. Take a look inside here. It's not very big. It's just a little closet. Hanging some clothes. Okay. It's a nice little closet. But again, my name is Mike, in case you didn't know. I think somebody said hi to me downstairs while I was downstairs. If you would like to come over and say hi to me, please do so. Just so I know how you're able to communicate Good with me. Good spirits here. Good spirits here? All right. Just so I know that you're able to communicate with me using some of these devices, can you make the ball light up here, this ball? Let me put these on the floor. That might make it easier. I'll set it right here. And I'll put this ball down here. See, there it is lighting up. Boy, that's an old photo. traffic outside if you hear noises. But if you're able to use these devices I put on the floor here, could you activate any of these devices just so I know you can use those to talk to me? There's a slight 
elevation, a little less than two milligauss. You should dig here. Oh, I don't think I can dig here. There's a smoke alarm up there. Is it possible for you to make the smoke alarm beep? I don't know if you've ever tried that. Think you could do that for me? Check out the plasma ball. That's actually, that electromagnetic field, I guess, from this, when I touch this, listen to it. It's, <laughs> it's actually sending a signal strong enough to pick up on the REM pod over there. That's very interesting. How about the ball? Can you touch the ball? Kenneth or Keith? Weeks? Hi, boys. Are either of you two able to come up here and touch this ball right here? Can you touch that ball there? Madam. Madam. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and um, move over and check out one of the other rooms. Down there? Yes, I was back up and over. <laughs> um, do you want to try some of your trip flight? Uh, can you set some of your trip flight yourself? Um, well, I, um, I'm going to go through some of these rooms here. Hello. I'm going to set some of these little devices around here. I hope you don't mind. Now, I was in here before. Wow. Okay. Genevieve. Genevieve, I am getting, I am getting a strong reading here. This is what was going on in here earlier, and I was not able to actually debunk it as some kind of just electro energy. I think Marie or Frank is in here with me. Here, I'm going to set this device over here on the bed. Marie, are you in here with me? reading. Hurt. Hurt. I'm sorry if someone was hurt. I have this device right here. If you could see it, it's just attached to my bag. It has different words and different things you can say if you're not sure how to use it. But you can use that to talk to me, okay? I put these devices down here on the ground. See this little box? If I get close to it, it beeps and lights up. And then there's a little round ball right here. And that little round ball 
Here we go. Let's see if I can make it. There it goes. See how the lights flash? These are little devices you can use to communicate with me. 1960s. 1960s. Like I said, I had my trimeter with me. And when I was up in here during the tour, I kept getting... There it goes again. Well, hello. And I am, I am way over here. I am not near anything. And it's when I'm holding it, so I think it has something to do with Prepare. my energy. Prepare. There it goes again. See, I'm holding this as far as I can out, and we're still steady at 4 milligauss right now. 7. And look, I'm holding it down as low as I can. I'm trying to, look, see, now there's nothing. Marie? Is that you, Marie? Marie, can you make any of my devices go off here just so I know you're with me, Marie? As you can see now, this device is... My trimeter is just steady, one milligauss. Okay, seven, ten. Are you able to move away from it now? Thank you. Can you move back further, just so I know that you understand me? <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Marie, can you make this go off again? So it's you, Marie. Why, thank you very much. I really appreciate it. I'm just here to visit and talk, communicate. Wow. Many deaths. Somebody out there? The CMF is, well, hello. It's nice to meet you. I was told this was your room, Marie. I was also told that Marie does not like these dresses. Here, I'm gonna set this device right here. Okay. Right here. All right, so I was told that Marie does not like this dress. Marie, do you like this dress? I thought I'd ask you. I'm going to put my hand on it just to see if maybe my energy had something to do with it. Marie, can you make this little box? Um, beep again for me to let me know that you don't like this dress right here. Boy, I'm getting charged up. I can feel the charge. Argue. Argue? It's 803, just to remind you. Okay. Still got tons to set up. I set up a laser grid down there in front of the, uh, um, the dolls, and I put a, a ball and red pod down there, too. Okay, yeah, I'm going to go through these last couple rooms, and then I'll go live, and I'll probably go back through them live again. Yeah. Okay, um, I'm going to, how about this one, Marie? This pink one here. If you don't like the dress, can you make the um, device go off over here for me? Okay, um, if you like the dress, if you think the dress is okay, can you make this device go off? Let's try this one. Do you not like this dress? 
If you don't like the dress, can you make this device beep for me? Cindy said you don't like these dresses, so I just wanted to get your opinion and see if that's right. Okay, maybe you like it? Do you like this dress? Standing beside you. Are you? I believe you. <laughs> oh, sorry, did I? No, I was just looking back at you. Um, okay, if you like this dress, Marie, can you uh, make this device beep for me? About that one on the floor. Ash. Run my spirit box up too. Okay. Ash. Let's see. This EMF is kind of just so unusual. I was just like over here, maybe, let me, let me see. Here, right, I'm standing here now, I'm getting about 10 milligauss. No, go away. No, go away. Let's see. Yeah, right here. Now, I, a... I'm going to move my phone way back here. Okay, let me just look. See? Yeah. 10, 8, 8 milligauss. My phone is like three feet away from this EMF detector, my trimeter, and I'm picking up electro. I'm picking up an electric field and a magnetic field, and they keep spiking. Was uh, it doing a lot over by the dress? I'm, I'm moving. Um, act, no, it wasn't going off at the dress at all. Here it is again. Maybe it's like I don't want to go in there near the dress. <laughs> so I'll stand over here. Uh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Wow. Okay. Now it's stopped. I'm trying to see if I can figure out the area here that I'm getting this magnetic field. I haven't even bothered to connect to the Wi-Fi here at all, by the way. Uh, hopefully our phones shouldn't interfere, interfere that much, right? No, not from this distance. Environment. Environment. Environment, yeah. Okay, now I'm pretty much in the same spot I was standing before. And right now I am at like one and a half milligauss. Just seems to be about a base reading here. I think Marie is here, and I think she's just moving around. Yeah. Yeah, if you could get out to where it's like uh, 3D spatial, you know, like mapping of it, then you could kind of follow it, maybe. Yeah, but I can't do that. Well, I've, seen, I've had it where my K2 is like, it was like in a single blob or something. Oh, yeah. Like, that's, I'm trying to see if I can find um, a consistent area, yeah. which seemed to be about right here. I'm standing about here. Marie, are you here? Can you make this beep again for me, Marie? Ron. Ron? Ron. Ron. It said Ron. Oh, Ron? Ron. Ronald? No? Let me see. There, right here. This is very, this is very strange because there is. I, you're not strange, though, Marie. This is. Um, I'm just trying to figure out where you're at. If you're making this device go off, that was about ten milligauss. Is that something else going off? Yeah. Hold on a second. Did you hear it? I have one of these on that other door. What? I have one of these on that other door. This motion detector. Yeah. The vibration detector. But that wasn't it? 
That may have been it. Not that one, but I have one. I have one. I have one down here. What was that noise? It might have been, maybe it was mine that I have. I put mine inside the glass. Melissa. Inside the glass. Hello? Somebody down here? Um, which, what did you have that would make a deep, um, right there. What, um, the that thing would go off, maybe. Oh, inside of glass. I put it inside the glass. Oh, okay, that's a good idea. Was somebody uh, making a device go off down here? Can you make the noise again for us, just so we know? I think we missed it. You heard it, right? Yeah, that's the only thing I have set up right now that would make noise. Yeah, that right there on the door there, that's the door that was rattling before. Yeah. I have that that um, motion, detect motion detector, which has a tone. Huh. Okay, interesting. Yeah, there okay. is that it, or... Oh, is that the EMF there? Wait, I hear it now. What is that? Is that the bear? I think we still had that on, didn't we? Yeah, that wasn't the bear, unless that's the REM pod upstairs. So your bear does that. Oh, okay. Is that coming from upstairs? Because I have my REM pod up here and it sounded like my REM pod. It could have been, but it's Hello? the one we were here before, but it's down here, I thought. Yeah, it was. But, ah. now, but now it sounded like it was up here. Uh, I was trying to play games, I think. <laughs> trying to get our attention? Okay. <clears throat> Whose doll is that? There's a doll. There's a bear. Let's see. This is usually about where I'm picking up the EMF electric field, the magnetic field, all seem to be coming from in here. Just checking again, but I can tell you, I can feel the static charge. My hairs are standing up. Pregnant. Pregnant? Are you pregnant? Wouldn't that be freaky if we saw like a heat signature on the bed here? Oh, yeah. I thought... Oh, I'm getting a... A spike again. There. Dude, it's almost like it's reacting to that. Yes. Can you hear it while I'm here? Yeah. When this is going off, something is... It could be my bear could be making both noises. You want to know something interesting, too, I learned. When you have a REM pod in the proximity around you, yeah, you know the um, plasma ball? Oh, yeah. If you start using the plasma ball, it sets them off. Oh, really? Yeah. And then my brain started working like, ooh. Yeah, that's still on, right? What's that? Oh, I'm getting a little bit of a spike here. Maybe about three milligauss. Hello, Marie. I am charged, man. <laughs> I'm serious. My it's hair starting, is standing man. up. No, it's just begun. Okay. Well, I'm, I hope we're not bothering you in here. Marie, if you're here, I just came up to visit, and I'll be back to visit again. I'm going to leave some of these devices in here, okay? And um, I'll be back up in a little while. Thank you for talking. I wonder if we, you want to use this, too. Maybe they'll want to play with this bear. This is like a really old 
This is like man, I mean, hey, if you um, if you feel like that's a good trigger, I'm gonna go ahead and stop the recording now. Uh, right, hello everyone. Hello, thank you for coming. It is Halloween. And it is raining some, so I won't keep you outside too long. <laughs> but we are at the Ross House in Bel Air, Ohio. And you can get an outside view. It borders this old um, like hardware store, which they are connected to. And this place is solely dedicated for paranormal investigations. Hello, Scared Silly. GMB, what's up? Jody Brooks, Tracy Dover, hello. I'm here and I've, I've got my friend Ian here, William, and we have been here for a little while. Yeah, get set up. Yeah, we got the tour and um, we've been checking it out, getting a feel of the place. I hope everybody's doing well. Anybody go trick-or-treating tonight or their children? But this house has been kind of a study for paranormal activity and it's got a lot of history here hey Kathy hey yep. Sue hello and um, this is Bel Air Ohio where we're at this home used to be um, well I'd say the home but the, the whole town here used to be a pretty booming place they used to have a lot of shops there used to be a lot of visitors that come here over the years from in the past you had Eleanor Roosevelt, Bob Hope, and a lot of other people would come here. And there are some resident ghosts here. We got resident ghosts here, and you've got a man named Alfred, who's one of the first spirits that they talked about. And Alfred is a man that supposedly spends his time over here and this living room area and I've got some devices in there as you can see we got our cameras in here running well hello Alfred if you can hear me and there are also some dolls here and these dolls belong to people who passed away and this is kind of like a little museum for them and on top there we have Peggy. That's Peggy. And in the middle there we have Susie and Trevor. And then at the bottom there's Gretchen. Hi Gretchen. And we've got cameras watching in here. We've heard that this case sometimes opens or rattles. They're not sure what happened or why it does that sometimes. Um, there also this door right here. This door has been known to rattle. We've got some devices there, so if it moves, we'll know. Cemetery. Cemetery? And and I'd like to point out, too, I do have that REM pod in there, so if it does rattle, that'll go off. And we have a cap all up yep, there. We've got devices attached to some of the hot spots, so that way we'll be alerted if something goes on. Um, there are two boys that are supposed to be here. There's spirits here. That's Kenneth and Keith. All right. Hey, Tim, what's going on? How you doing? Going widescreen? All right, Scared Silly. The two boys, Kenneth and Keith, their spirits are known to talk to you, communicate. And they've been known to be the ones that go up and down these steps. Sometimes you'll hear pitter-patter going up and down these steps here. Right now, we've got some cameras watching, and we've got um, we got a cat toy there. So, oh, you did put yeah, a cat Tim. toy up there. Yeah, put one on the steps there. Zero. Now I'm just going to take everybody through a little walk through here. We go upstairs. There's bedrooms here. Now Ian and I are both um, staying here overnight, and we're going to be recording throughout the night. And there's a woman. Marie, her spirit has been here and has been active, and we've been engaged with her spirit tonight. 
She's also been known that if you come in here, and she's in here, that she will vocally tell you to give her privacy or to leave. And this is Marie's room. Hello, Marie. We've got some devices in here. There's been some interesting activity, and I'm going to try to um, see if, if I can display it again while we're up here. I'm going to put my <clears throat> phone down here so it's away from the devices. Please wait and listen. Now I have a trimeter here. It picks up electro field, electromagnetic field, and there we go. And this, I've been checking in here, and this is just very strange. It is not my phone. And when I'm in here, I've got, I can feel a static charge on me. I mean, I can feel my hairs raising up. And it's not like goosebump feeling. Look, there we go. I keep getting strong electric field and EMF. And it's over here. I'm curious if either we're are we above the router, maybe? Now um, I was told that these dresses were found down in the basement and Marie doesn't like these dresses. Look at that. I was holding it down here, and it's going off. Hi, Marie. Thank you, if that's you. I'm sure it is you. This is Marie's room. Army. Army. Yeah, the, did you want to explain about the dress there? Yeah, I was... I was um, the dress is there. She found in the basement. Hello, um, Tamar. Hello. Thank you. Those were dresses that were found in the basement, and they are not welcomed in here. They said Marie, um, what's her, Cindy's the, the woman who runs this place, and Cindy said that Marie has vocalized her discontent for these dresses and does not like them. So maybe that's what I'm getting here with this activity. I was up here talking to Marie, asking her if she likes these dresses here, and I don't think she does. But this activity in here is very strange with this EMF. There it is again. We'll keep going on the tour here. I'm going to find the light switch in here. Here it is. I think, no, that's not it. Oh, I turned the light off in there for my night vision. Okay. I'm going to turn it on just for a moment. Yeah. Okay, in this room here, this is another bedroom. This is where the boys, Kenneth and Keith, used to stay. And their spirits are said to run around here, and they can be heard. They hear laughter, and they hear them running around. Ian's going to be staying in this room tonight, and he's got a um, camera up here. Yeah, while we're sleeping, we're going to be... Uh... I'm going to have one point on me while I'm sleeping, and uh, I might hey, even Jody. put like a cat ball or something around me, and uh, you said you're going to set something up too, right? Yeah, yeah. Once I decide, I'm pretty sure I'm going to stay um, over in Marie's room here. Yeah. I think I'm going to stay in here tonight, and I'm going to bring my camera up with me and record while I'm sleeping, see if anybody messes with me. I don't think they will. Hey, Jody. What's going on? Gooden, are you in here too, Gooden? Sorry if I missed you. Oh, sorry, that I think that was my phone setting it up. Okay. Oh, this is, oh, this is going off. Your EMF's going off too there? Yeah. Okay. Happy Halloween, by the way. Yeah. Everybody. You said happy Halloween. We, uh, we originally got this for the 24th, but I saw that it was open for Halloween, so I... I asked Hi, Jeremy. Her if we could reschedule it and she said yeah. Yeah, so we uh, were able to get this room booked for Halloween night. 
this room here. Um, weren't really sure if there's or whose room this may have been in the past. Oh, is this? Um, what? That's gone. That is gone. Yeah. Yeah, and they got a plasma ball in here, which is cool. Yeah. Um, yeah, some of the history also around here in Bel Air. Um, this, there was a lot of, um, it was the French and Indian War. Um, let me see. I think that was it, right? Yeah. Yeah, the, um, there was a lot of um, battling around here in this area to uh, talk about the history because they this place is famous for its land. So you got that war, and then you have... Um, there are demons. There are demons, oh. This was a coal mining area. There were coal mines, and there was a big coal mine explosion here in the past, and... There were a lot of coal miners who died in that blast. And it took them a long time to get the coal to stop burning from that. So, so, there's, so there's there's a lot of battling history on these grounds, suffering. And this area here is part of one of the major ley line intersections, which they say has a lot of which fuels paranormal activity as well. Since we've been here, I've already experienced some strange things. I, I mean, upstairs in, in Marie's room, Collapse. it is supercharged up there. Like, I go in there and I am, my hairs are all up on my arms. And I just got another spike. That was strange. Another one. Well, hello. I haven't had this kind of a spike down <laughs> here yet. Wow. Okay. He is going hot. Oh, yeah. I am 18 milligoss. What is going on here? This I this is crazy. Holy crap, what? Everywhere. And I am charged too. Wow, my hairs. Woo. Okay. How about this bear here? Is there somebody here? Can you make the bear light up for us? That's a scare bear. It's like a REM pod. Yeah, it'll... Contain. Yeah. If, there's different if, modes on it. Um, yeah, if anybody interacts, if there's a spirit that interacts with the antenna in the, um, the frequency that it emits, kind of like the box REM pod I have, it'll um, alert with this tone. We thought maybe the boys that were here might want to play with it. Okay. Um, this is strange because I we've been here with our detectors and our equipment, and I've not had spikes like this before. I'm not sure what's going on here. Uh, one moment, I'm going to turn on my audio recorder because I'm going to start recording and see if we pick up any EVPs. I'm going to use my jack here to prop the bear up instead. Sure, we have this other stuffed animal. I have another stuffed Whoa. animal here. Hopefully, we can get these to, you know, like the spirits to interact with these stuffed animals because it's a little bit more friendly to them. You know, you know, you know, we have all this equipment. It might be scary to them, right? Yeah. So, hey, Jody. Hey, Marshall. What's going on? Um, yep. Um, okay, I'm really not sure what to think about this EMF right now. People. You scare people. That EMF detector is going off over there. Okay. All right. Hang on for me, everyone. Let's give you a view right here for a moment. I'm going to put on my normal kit here. Up. Up. Okay, and, well, okay, there are a couple more spirits that are here. This EMF is something. I'm not sure what the thing is. I think there's somebody moving with me. Empire. And I'm recording now, so if I do get EVPs, everyone, I will make sure that... Yes, Jody, thank you. Is that Tim? Looks like we've got... 
to open line on the other side. Okay. Oh, and just go back because I, I kind of, this really got me, um, this got me distracted because this EMF just came out of nowhere all of a sudden. I have heard some voices since we've been here. Ian was in here and I was um, out on the other side here. Right about here. Probably about right here. And um, Ian was in there. And right when I started to walk through here, I heard a voice. And this is going to sound a little creepy. What was that? What's that? I dropped something. I wanted to give this to you. Oh, that hit the ground? Yeah, I'm sorry. No, I sounded like it came from back here. I heard something. It sounded like it tapped the door back here. Literally, like it sounded like something tapped this door over here. What is going on with this EMF? Fallen. Oh, so I just heard something tap back here, and I'm sure on the audio, if you come back to this point, we're about 16 minutes, you'll probably hear that. Um, but anyways, I was standing here, Ian was out there, and I heard a hello. And it sounded like a small child or like what you would imagine a doll would sound like if it talked, like, you know, like a talking doll. It sounded like that when it said hello and look where I'm standing at, just saying. But I did hear a voice say hello. Uh, well, thank you, guys. Yeah, to me, um, not sure. My cat, you know, the cats get out times and... I didn't really see the signs of what was happening or what was wrong with him. And once he really fell sick, you know, I took him to the pet room, the pet emergency, and um, they really couldn't do anything for him without doing some serious stuff like blood transfusion and things because he was in bad shape. And, um, you know, he passed away on the way home from the ambulatory. Uh, it was just unexpected. But thank you, guys. And uh, Jimmy... Jimmy's fine. He's doing good. I'm going to make sure to get him some extra care, so he's good. Um, and I also, to get back to, um, this EMF here is, I think, I don't know, guys. I think since I went live, since I went live here, the activity, because I, I mean, we've had our equipment on here for I'm hours alive. now. And I have not had activity like this around here. This I'm not. I, I really think there's starting. We're starting to get a lot of attention. Yeah. Hello. Whoever's here with me, can you tell me your names? Anywhere. Okay. Wow. This is. I mean. This is some strong EMF. What's that device? What's that device? <laughs> That's just a... Well, hey, Tracy. What's going on? Sue? Yeah. Uh, anyone else alive in there now? It's just us, Sue. And apparently we've got a lot of friends here with us right now because I, my electromagnetic field and magnetic field detector has been going crazy. And I heard hello, Michael. I almost forgot too. I said, I got a message that said, "What my what's my name on my device?" It said, "What's your name?" And I said, "Mike." And then I was here, and I was here, and I heard like a vibration, but it, it was a voice, and I heard, "Hi, Mike." And oh, I about I about like you know I about did the deed in my pants. I was like, <laughs> "Whoa!" I'm like, I heard that. I'm like, I mean, I was kind of surprised but you know in a good way and I of course said hello back and um, down here I'll take you guys down here I'm not sure if I can turn on my phone light but man I'm gonna go down here for to show you the basement there are a couple spirits down here as well arch feed okay hey Gonzato Marshall, what's up? 
Okay, hold on. Hey Mike, have you heard of that term before? Arch fiend? There oh my god, I, I'm this is amazing, man. He died. What? How many times I was down here and I almost I had like no I had nothing down here before. I had no <laughs> magnetic field or electric field down here. This in this basement was like the lowest readings out of everywhere. And right now I am I'm 14 milligauss, 10 milligauss. It is going crazy down here. And I feel nothing but a charge on me right now. Go 18 high. milligauss. And there you go on his EMF detector also. Well, hello. There's a little girl named Anna that's down here. The spirit of Anna. Hello, Anna. Again, I brought friends with me. Thank you. If that's you letting me know you're here, thank you. This is, I don't know what to say about this. Chill, 14 milligauss. Okay, like, I I am stretched out as far as I can away from this phone. Nasty. Because if I get really close to this phone, I can set this off. But I've been doing this for a long time, and I really have to get close to the phone for this. Is there something nasty here? Is that what you're saying? Oh, shit. This is... 30... 10 milligauss. Happy Halloween. Omen of death. Omen of death. They like they do like an audience. Yeah, I've got um, I've got my recorder going, Tracy. I am recording. And EVPs that I pick up. Like Anna. Anna, if you'd like to talk to me, I can hear you. There is also a man down here. There's a man they say, they don't know his name, but there's a man, they're not sure if it's like Anna's father, but there's a man that stays down here with Anna, and they say he's got a really sweet handlebar mustache. Oh yeah, if you see any Kims in, in the chat, that would probably be my sister. Okay. Kim, I'll keep an eye out. Okay. She nice. investigates with me too. Sometimes they couldn't make it out, unfortunately, tonight though. Yeah, I, his, man. His buddy uh, wasn't able to come either. Yeah, we got this place tonight. It is, I'm, yeah. it is some, I'm serious. Like, since I went live with you, this has picked up. Holy shit. Oh, shit. I, I, I got to keep my monetization here, buddy. Sorry, buddy. It's all right. <laughs> Holy crap, man. Okay, um, let me give you guys some light in here. Okay. This is, um, in the basement, the boiler, the uh, water tanks down here. Um, I know some of the people who have died in in the uh, residence here. Uh, Frank, that was Marie's husband, passed away in the house here. But they say Marie's spirit is here, and the boy spirits are here. But it seems like from what um, what Cindy told me, Cindy's the lady who runs this place. And, um, you know, Cindy was great. She did an interview with us. And when I, when you guys see the video, um, she gave us a rundown of the history. Happy Halloween, Roller Woman. Hey, Constance. I'd like to point out, too, none of these wires are anything you're setting this off. Yeah. I was just getting another spike. I am at a place called the Ross House in Bel Air, Ohio. And what, one day there's another Thank house a few blocks down the street called the Bel Air House. We're going to save up for that place, too. Yeah, um, this area is well known for, for the ley lines here and the paranormal activity. And there's another place nearby called the Bel Air House that um, is a famous haunted place. And this place and that place are basically primarily run as just paranormal investigative purposes like they rent them out just for that purpose yeah hit the like button everyone thank you very much you know it really helps hitting the like button and sharing the content oh yeah i also wanted to mention everybody if you get a chance um turn your notification off and back on if anybody hasn't been getting notified about lives and upcoming things sometimes the youtube boy the cmf is something else but um, that there's been some, sometimes there's a reset. You, it, I'm not sure what causes it, but 
YouTube's answer is to just like turn notifications off and back on again. So if you guys have a problem, do that. When? When? Right now. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I, I, I sort of had an idea made for your audience. Uh, yeah. I, you would seem to like these. We, uh, we have a bunch of different toys. Maybe you guys could uh, choose for us to what toys you want to see us play with. We have this. It's a like a pendulum dowsing board. I have a pendulum in this little bag here, and then we have dowsing rods we can play with. Yeah. And also maybe if there's a specific room that you have a feeling about, maybe we could head up there. You can turn the lights off. Guide yeah. Our investigation here. Yeah. Um. If I face you, the light blinds the camera. Oh, sorry. See. That's all right. Okay. Turn my down a little bit. Well, Anna, or if the man's here, thank you for communicating with us here. Um, I was thinking we should go, let's see. I don't know. Um, maybe upstairs. Maybe up to, um, what do you think? I think upstairs got charged all of a sudden down here on the main floor. Maybe we should go in. You want to? Yeah. yeah, let's go back up here. Up to the main floor? You want to go back? Yeah, let's go back floor? up here to the main floor. Yeah, over here because this EMF activity has just spiked everywhere here on the main floor. And I do not know why. Because before. Here it goes again. Hopefully, I'm getting a lot of. EVPs right now because this the electric field that's just around everywhere right now is so strong and nothing is different from the way it was hours ago when we were here and it is definitely not like this this is I might have to mute this <laughs> wow that's amazing thank you Whoever's here, Kenneth and Keith, the boys. Thank you, boys. Would any of you boys like to come over and play with the bear here? You hear it? You can come over and play with the bear. It's here for you. Yeah, Sue, so it must have, like, if it's us giving them energy, it must have, um, you know, there must have been, like, a, boy, how long have we been here? Since four. Yeah, even before that. Yeah, so we've been here for, you know, five hours. And all of a sudden, this energy is just exploding everywhere. Um, can I show them how? There, we do have a router here, but you have to get like a foot away from it to actually set it off. Yeah. It's in that room. Yeah, Does and, and it this say, will it say yours off too. Uh, I haven't, I haven't tried. I'm sure it will because this picks up, you know, the electric field too. It's, it's over. It's here. out here. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, it will. There's no doubt to it, but. Well, I just um, wanted to show how, like, actually close that you have to get to it. Yeah. Yeah, you've seen it. That's, yeah, the router puts off, but you literally have to be on top of it. So yeah. it's not like this is the energy, whatever, setting off my detector. Because this has been on the whole time since we've been here. And for the past five hours, we've had this equipment running. And the um, EMF that I've been monitoring on here. I haven't even spiked anywhere. Look at this. Here we go. 10 milligauss. I haven't even spiked anywhere around here in the living room since I've been here. Just upstairs in Marie's room. Oh, well, yeah. We also do have a spirit box, too. He was interested in trying that. And uh, if your audience wants to hear that, too, we can. Yeah. Um, so we could do either the dowsing board. We could... Um, do spirit box. Um, we've got some options here. And I got lots of toys. Got lots of toys here. I wonder if Marie will talk to us. Marie, hi Marie. Marie, can you hear me? The boys. I can't remember. Can you guys come down here? You want to come down the steps here? Yeah, Marshall. 
The only way. It's crazy. What's up from the UK? What's going on? All the way from the UK. That's yeah, good. it's great. Thank you for being here tonight. We are supercharged here tonight since I started this live stream. Everything just like went crazy. And yeah, these these devices aren't that sensitive either. Like you actually have to be up to next to something for this to go off. Yeah. Yeah, you heard my detector going off just down here in the main room. And like I said, the tonight since I've been here, the only time I've had any kind of um Hey what's up, Ken? What's going on? The only time I've had any actual spikes that were strong enough to set off that EMF detector were up here Bye. in Marie's room. Bye. Are you leaving? When I was up in Marie's room, I was the only place I was getting it. Do you have your, um, um, what do you call it, the uh, SLS app on there? Yeah, I do. You want to take a look? I really wanted to see. I saw her, her um, actual SLS device, and I was drooling. I'm like, boy, that would be great to have here. Um, there it is, right there. You got it? Okay. I was thinking yeah. maybe we could um, have Ian run the SLS. Yeah. Oh, do you or want maybe I can hold it in tomorrow? front of the camera, or you can hold yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. If, if you want to show them, uh, I have the... Let's take a look at the SLS and see if um, if if we can see Marie. I have thermal, and then I have... We'll do the SLS, we'll let, too. We'll let Ian get the SLS up. What I'd like to do is go up into Marie's room, if you don't mind, just to go up there and start and see if um, if we have any... Yeah, right, Jeremy? See if... Um... Yeah, there, there you go. Yeah. Yep, I can see it. There you go. There's the uh, SLS right there. So um, we'll see. This is sweet cameras. You got the thermal view and the SLS. Yeah. Okay. Let's go up into Marie's room and see if. Okay. Um, what do you want to hold this? To? Um, I I could hold it. I'm gonna. I'll do a balancing act here. Yeah. Okay. Let's go on up. You want me to get Thanks. Your, where's your thing? I'll hold your thing too. You what is it? What do you mean? Your. Uh, the EMF. Device. Oh, that's okay. Ascension. We'll give that a break. Yeah. Okay, what was that? Hello? Marie? Maybe I could see you now, Marie. Manifesting. Okay. Can we see you, Marie? Are you in your room? Marie, hi, are you in here? DB, I said, am I, sorry, hold on one second. I'm trying to, um, CBA? Animal. Um, thank you for the donation. I'm sorry, I'm having a hard time reading that right now. My screen is flickering everywhere. Oh, is the... Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. CHA. It really means well, a lot. Thank you. Let's uh, let's do a baseline test. Here. Let me make sure. Is it uh, it's mapping me out? By the way. Yep. There it goes. It's mapping okay. you out. So, so it's definitely working. working. Yeah. You got that lidar on there, so yeah. it really picks it up good. Yeah, that's really LiDAR good. Lidar on the iPhone, and then uh, this phone is called Doogee uh, V20 Pro Thermal Camera. It's probably I should do a review on it. It's okay. probably like the best camera for ghost hunting because they can do thermal vision and night vision. Yeah. There you go. So go uh, out and get one today. Yeah. All right. I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's. I think it's. Yeah, a good I, that, that's a good call. I better mention that, guys. I don't. I don't have any sponsored. I'm not sponsored by them. So, um, you know. Yeah. That was just for your own information. Um, but Marie, I was in here to see if if you're here. Maybe I could see you, Marie. Would you come over in front of the camera? Okay, if there's somebody else, CHA, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you very much. I'm sorry, like my screen's small and I, I couldn't put the letters together. It looked like CBA. 
I was getting really I was getting here. a mapping over here for for a moment. I wonder oh, if really? it was that dress. Hold on. It may have been the dress. Let me make sure. Because I had a map come from over here. But this is also where I kept getting... See, you hear my EMF going off in my pocket? Yeah. yeah. If If somebody's here... Can you come over in front of the camera for us so we could see you? I'd really appreciate it. Marie, if you don't like those dresses, can you come over here in front of the camera? Can you take those things and get them out of here? I heard you don't like them. Maybe go over there and grab them and try to throw them away. They say Marie does not like these dresses that Cindy found in the basement. She put them up here in this room. And Marie hasn't been happy about it, is what I've heard. Uh, is that, is that true, Marie? Can you go over there and take those dresses? If you don't like those dresses, what kind of dresses do you like? Wait, I just had some mapping around it. Well, that was, okay, that was mapping it. Okay, that's mapping it. I thought for a moment there was a mapping next to it. It's weird, though, if it doesn't map it the whole time. Yeah, and then it just appears? Yeah. Yeah, that's what struck me as a little odd there. You have nightmares. Yes. Meeting. Hopefully I won't have nightmares when I stay here tonight. <laughs> yeah, this is our first night sleeping at him like an actual haunted place that's like where we're like investigating and then going right to bed okay i'm gonna pass the camera back to you for a moment okay and um children are playing. the children are playing maybe the boys are here tin man what's up what's going on tin man yeah we Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, you know, I'm holding the using both hands here. I couldn't read the chat. So, okay, C H A. That's that's Tin Man. Sweet. Oh man. All right, Tin Man. Yeah, thank you, Tin Man, for that donation, man. I really appreciate it. Ken Miller, how you guys doing? You and your son. Yeah. When we go up here next time, we'll uh, to either he, here or the uh, Bel Air place. And the, uh, you, the you're battery. Come again. Michelle. Sure. Come next time, you know? Yeah. Yeah, you're right, Michelle. This is like the perfect place to spend Halloween at. Yeah, Jeremy. Yeah, that, um, see, the thing is, like those SLS apps, if your phone doesn't have the LiDAR capabilities, um, it doesn't quite map it as good. Uh, hey, cameraman. Camera. Yeah, what's going on, cameraman? Hello, happy Halloween. Thank you for joining. Dean, what's up? Yeah, and um, that phone he's got has the LiDAR, so that that SLS capabilities of that are great. They're fantastic. Yeah. Let's take a look in here. Yeah, keep your eyes peeled. Maybe you'll see the you maybe you'll see two boys. The children the twins. play games. The children play games. Another message about the children. I wonder if the boys are here. Yeah, we also got the name Ronald several times. Oh, yeah, Ron came up twice and Ronald, so yeah. there might be a Ron here. We wonder if that's the guy with the sweet mustache that's supposed to be <laughs> in the basement, is Ron. Um, so it's going um, to be an interesting night, but uh, Cindy, who runs this place, told us that people say they have they sleep great here. You know, there's always that... Do you mean harm? No, I don't. I don't mean harm. Just here's a friend to talk and communicate. Yeah, you're getting a spike there. Yeah, but uh, Cindy said that people seem to have really good sleep here. And they say that... Um, I think they see Marie. They, they said it's been um, from... There's been many groups that have stayed here. There's pictures of lots of paranormal teams. And a majority of them report having... Um, having dreams after staying here, like even after they leave and go home, they have dreams of the woman who they think is Marie. I'm feeling a charge on my arm. My hair is standing up like crazy right now. And you're getting some crazy spikes <laughs> over there on the EMF. Hello? Wow. 
Here we go. Hi there. Died very recently. Died very recently? Look at that. Well over 10. I'm attached. You're attached. Well, I'm sure you know whoever's here. You can't attach yourself to us or our equipment. This is your home. You have to stay here. Man. It's so this, uh, I took my you should away feel here. my arms right now. The <laughs> hairs are standing up like... This is some whoa, of the whoa. strongest yeah. I've ever had for a static charge. I mean, I, I can. it feels like my hairs want to fly off like pine needles or something. Hey, what's going on? It is so charged here today. I've never experienced a charged area like this before. So were you, were you? It's on my right arm again. I mean, it's so strong. I, and I'm reading right here, I'm getting um, three or four milligauss. It hasn't set off the alarm yet, but I could see it building up and spiking. Oh, yeah. One thing we get, got to I'm trying to get this close it. enough so you can see it. Whoa. Whoa, hold on. I might be just getting close right there. I'm trying to see if I can get the focus in so you guys can see it. It's too much glare. Oh, never mind. I can't get it. Too much glare. Oh, yeah. Tell, let us know, too, if you want to try. We have these mirrors you can use for scrying. She has a specific uh, little uh, you could vanity do, you mirror. You could do scrying, scrying if you want. <laughs> I'm not doing oh, any you scrying. Oh, you're doing a try? No, I'm not, I'm not doing any scrying. <laughs> uh, let's see. Okay. Um, can I can I see your uh, SLS again? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Okay. I got the SLS back. Oh, there's somebody there. I think there's two. Is Ooh. that the boys? Keith and Kenneth, and boy, my left arm, dude, look at my <laughs> left arm. Oh, my gosh. Well, hello there. And there's two. I, I think I'm mapping a second one. That might be mapping the, the stroller. Well, hello there. It's like they're moving. I, I'm sorry if you guys are having a hard time seeing that. I threw something. Yeah, it looks like this is strange. Hello. <laughs> it's like they're moving from one spot to another. Kenneth or Keith, is that you? Can you raise your arm up if that's one of you boys? Boy, my arms. Oh, this is, I've never had static like this. It feels like my hairs just want to come off my arm right now, both of them. Looks like there's two. I think this is the boys. Kenneth and Keith. And look at that. Did you see that it, EMF? Yeah, it was, this was going it was off just a little going bit. Off. Yeah. Okay, let me get your view back here again. Can you, can you come over here? I think I'm too far back now. Okay. That's mapping you, Ian. Let me come back over here. Tranquility. You still there? Okay. They're like fading now. Good night, Dean. Thanks for stopping in. Happy Halloween. Yeah, it's like they're they're at, I mean, they're they're moving. Now they're a little bit lower on the right. I don't know why there's that weird warm spot there either. See how much warmer that spot is on there? Really? Yeah, and what we're looking at here is just this dresser right here. This little nightstand. And there's that warm spot right where it's mapping. Yeah. But it's not mapping them now. Are you gone? <laughs> Kenneth and Keith, was that one of you guys or both of you? How about this chair? Can you sit in the chair for me? Maybe we could see you in the chair. Yeah, we have to be mindful of the reflections too because those will reflect the both the thermal and the SROs. Yeah. Hey Raymond. Gonzado, good night. It is say he's over there. He's over there? I think he's gone now though. So did you move? Let me take Where a did look. you move to? Let me take a look here. I'm trying to see if maybe they're in a different oh, spot right. now. That's mapping the little baby dolls that are in the stroller there. You can see there. So that's what we're mapping there. You look the same. 
I, oh, okay. They were, he was back again for a moment. There, there he is. He's laying down on the blanket. Are you tired, buddy? Yeah, look, that's what it is. Those are blankets on there. I just realized now it's like he's laying down on the blanket. You see him? Yeah. Okay. It's really interesting, and you can see the mapping. It's mapping a, a shape of a person. I almost guarantee it's mapping a spirit here. Now he moved. He's over there. No, there he is. Wow. How about in the chairs? Boy, my arms are getting it. I feel it now again. Julia. Julia. Okay. All right. You want me to get that back? I'm going to trade back. I'll just yeah. take a break from it because that's. It's not that light if you're holding it out in front of you yeah. for a long period of time. Yeah. Um, I do like want to point out too. You, you do have the thermal camera attachment, but uh, we're st still trying to figure out a way of maybe live streaming with the thermal and the the regular like you do on your normal videos. Yeah, that's that's the challenge. It's tough. It'd be something to do. Okay. Fallen. Um, I guess if you keep an eye on me, if you do see any mapping around me, I will. Yo. Know, go downstairs here yeah it's probably these i was told that sls cameras are pretty good when we're stationary so if we uh maybe find a spot to chill out at for a sec and we can all look around the room yeah when um when you guys see my video which i've been recording here and i'm going to record tonight Cry. i'm going to have the um the whole overnight video recording if anything happens hopefully i sleep peacefully but if Whatever is captured, you know, I'll put that together and look forward to that in the future. Okay. Now, look, it seems like it's calmed down down here. Yeah. It's, it's a lot cooler upstairs. Yeah, and what's the difference now? This is what's funny right now. I just saw something when, over your shoulder for a second. Did you? Yeah. How about down here? Somebody here? You want to come over here? It's like over by that chair over there. Is it mapping someone there? Let me right take a look. Now, <clears throat> like popped in for a second. Okay. Just taking a look on it to see if. Uh, okay. All right. Interesting. Hopefully the road noise subsides pretty soon. It was mapping something there to your right. I don't know. There's would you help by the might, by the bench. Um, that was mapping by the bench, but there's stuff on the bench, so it might be uh, the bench straight ahead there. I want to see if it'll map anything by the dolls here, maybe. Okay, um, I'll be right back down. Come up with me, everybody. I'm going to grab my REM pod up here, and I'm going to grab the other cat toy. Hi, Marie, if you're in here. <clears throat> okay. I put some devices there on the bed, Marie. If if you're able to, Marie, that box right here with the antenna, can you can you touch that? I'm getting a spike. Can you touch the box there? You thought you seen wigs on that little boy, Tim? Where am I going to go if I have to go number two? Well, hopefully nobody's in the bathroom already. Every I've gone to the bathroom here, and whenever I go in there, I always let them know I'm in there because I heard that 
Marie is very vocal about letting people know when she's in there, and I don't need any surprises when I go into the bathroom, so I've been announcing it when I go to the bathroom here. <laughs> I let Marie know I'm going to the bathroom. Set it on the chair, Raymond. <clears throat> okay. <clears throat> um, which chair, you think? That chair there? My lungs. Call that chair one or chair two? By the desk, okay. <clears throat> Let me make sure this is on, okay. Okay. I'm gonna go back downstairs here in a little bit to catch up with Ian. Hey, here we are in the mirror. Marie, if you're here, can you go over to that box for me and make it make the uh, device light up and sound make the noises? Oh, Jeremy said two, and Raymond said by the desk. <laughs> Maybe I'll just try them both Seat. before we go. Seat. Oh, that's the message I got. Just said seat. Yeah, on the chair. Can you see those devices on the chair? Maybe, um, can you make that little ball light up for me? I would just like to know if we two can ladies use here. two ladies here. Maybe we can communicate together using those devices. And I would like to know if we can do that. Can you make one of them light up for me just so I know? So I'm going to do, I'm going to set this here. Oh, well, hello there. <laughs> I think seat number two might be a winner. Marie, is that you? Wow, that is about seven milligauss. But I'm getting a really strong electric field, higher than a magnetic. Marie, can you do that again, if that's you, Marie? Just so I know it's you? Okay, thank you. Okay, here we go. I think you got it, Jeremy. Let's try, let's try a REM pod too over here and see. I'm just curious. Wow. The electric field is really high there. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Thank you, Marie. Can you move away from that now, please? Marie? Can you move My away goodness. from that just so I know you understand me? Okay, well, man, I just felt... My arm jump like the hairs just jumped like I just got hit by my arm here with the static charge, but it like made me jump. Okay, whoever's there, can you move away from that device for me, please? So it stops beeping. Can you move away from it? Holy crap, I am getting charged up on my right arm. It's going up my elbow and up to my shoulder. Like it's so strong, it feels like something's crawling up me. Let me move this. Okay. This is strange. Yeah. Okay, if I leave, can you turn it off for me? I'm going to go ahead and walk out here. Can you follow me here? Come on over here. Walk away from that chair and come over here, could you, please? Can you see me? I can't see you. 
But if you're there at the chair making that box go off, can you make it stop? Okay. Oh, well, thank you. <laughs> wow. Yeah, it's that's red. That electronic field is, is red. And it keeps coming and going. Okay. Around here in Marie's room here, I'm just going to move this with me. Okay. All right, here we go, guys. Let's try this. Send it over here now. Now, can you make it go off over here on this chair? Could you do that for me, please? I'm sorry. I don't mean to get too loud. I hope I'm not getting too loud. But would you make the box go off over here for me? Yes, Sue. Look, we are here. I see you're here. I can feel you that you're here. I'm giving them a chance to see if, if, if Marie can make the box go off over here for me. Boy, I feel it on my right arm again. It's the hairs are like standing up and tingling, and it's going from like my wrist down below my elbow up towards the back of my arm. That's strange because usually I feel it on my left arm. It seems to be more sensitive, but today it's like my right. Hi, Marie, if you're here. Hello. Oh, yeah, you're right, Michelle. It's these dresses, right? Marie, you probably won't come over here because of these dresses. Okay. All right. Can you make the box go off over here? There it goes. Scary. Scary? I'll talk to Cindy again. I'll tell her you really want to get these dresses out of here. Okay? You want these dresses out of here? Can you make the box go off for me if you really want these dresses gone? Yeah. Okay. I'm rooting for you. I mean... I'm not too sure I'm the best judge of dresses, but hey, if you don't want them, if you don't like them, I'll make sure you told me that. And um, I'll see what we could do, okay? Okay, I'm going to go back down and see Ian. I'm going to go back downstairs. Thank you, Marie. Wow. Gosh. And I'm going to be staying in this room tonight. <laughs> Okay, let's come on down. Angel hierarchy. Angel hierarchy. I have to admit, this place is, um, has been something else. When I was at the Porter Geist house, I experienced a lot of EMF and a lot of static charge, but I think this beat that. Oh, wow, nice. man, that was some, that was, you should have been, up, man, upstairs. What was going on upstairs? Marie was... I am pretty sure telling us she, mean to scare you. she doesn't want those dresses. <laughs> and she would not stop telling me using that detector. And it, it was funny, um, everybody in chat and, and um, was it Michelle? Yeah, Michelle said that uh, I was trying a chair with the EMF detector, wouldn't go off on the one chair. And that chair was by the dresses. And I put it on the other chair and the EMF detector started going crazy. And uh, Michelle was like, oh, it's probably because she doesn't want to go by the dresses. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, that's probably it. And then she was making it go off on the counter after that, the dresser. So I think Marie was, and I asked her to make it go off if she wanted me to get the dresses out. and went off. So Marie doesn't like the dresses. I think it's official. I told her, I told her I'll talk to Cindy, see what we could do. Get them out of there. Um, do you want to try that uh, divination board? Uh, Did you want to try that? I'm not good with the you you if uh, you guys were uh, better with it. I could hold your camera thing for okay. you. Okay. <clears throat>
Oh, I, I really, honestly, from the energy, man, I, I kind of want to do it up in Marie's room, but we'll yeah, try we it down. Do that. We could do it up in Marie's room. I was just okay. looking for the things. I was down here busy with the uh, my camera battery kit. It kept getting drained even with it plugged into the wall. Hmm. Let me see. How am I running here? Okay. Um, also, by the way, I, I thought this was really cool. I was... We saw this earlier. It's at first I thought this was candies <laughs> or something. It's like a bunch of batteries they leave for these investigators. Yeah, look at that. They really take care of you here. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> if anybody ever wanted to go um, check out some place that's haunted, this place has been great so far. Yeah. It is. It is great here, and Cindy was a great host. And this place is set up to. I just heard somebody saying something. Again. Yeah, I, th I thought that I heard something. Coming from that way, I just heard. I, it was saying something. It wasn't. It wasn't like hello or something. It was like three words. And this is the same direction I heard the hi or hello, Mike, and that I heard that like doll voice say hello. Eugene. Eugene. That's weird. And we heard the banging too, man. Yeah. I I wish I could have just do this live stream from when we got here at five o'clock, and you guys <laughs> could have just heard and seen the things that have been going on here tonight. It's, something banged like it sounded like it was banging on some of the ductwork or something but it was like distinct thumps like somebody was tapping on it like it was like two times wasn't it was it two yeah. times yeah i think it was twice yeah it was twice and we went right down cellar because it sounded like somebody was banging on the ductwork down there um okay i'm holding too many things here so give me a moment okay i'm gonna actually you know what I'm, i haven't used my um my divination board so i'm actually going to try mine oh you have oh yeah you said you got yeah one too. I've, I've got one too um, um did you what you say you want to go upstairs and do it yeah i'm going to go up in marie's room and, and try it so hang okay. on bear you with me, me that for you um yeah you can i'm going to um, take this up there this time and i'm going to get Yeah, we're a lot of this is kind of like a juggling act with all this equipment. Yeah, it's it's really not as sloppy looking when you're just doing this yourself. And then it's kind of like, you know, it's just how it goes. Yeah. You're always going back and forth for stuff if you need something. Um, I'm gonna actually bring the music box this time. Matthew. We're gonna try oh, the nice. music box up there too. Yeah, he's got his tablet set up for that. Yeah, okay. Here you go. Okay. All right. You want me? Um, you, go, you can check it out if you want to hold it. Maybe. Well. Cool. Um, yeah. Here you go. You can if you want. Uh, All right. Yeah. I'm trying to I'll get both both too much. I got everything here. Okay. All right. You drop, I'll bring my board up too, just in case. Okay. okay I, got, I got the spare box too, in case we want to do that. I have my camera going. Both are full spectrum on the stairs here, Doc. All right. I put a battery in mine. All right. You in here, Marie? I hope not. Oh yeah, isn't this the door that she said that yeah. opened up too? Or yeah. Yeah. It's supposed to be locked, but she said it opened up on its own. Oh yeah, this is the door um, that I got the uh, sensor attached to that opened up on its own before. This connects to the um, old. It was a hardware store or a flea market. Yeah, or a furniture store or something. It was an old store. It actually is connected because the buildings are tied together. Um, but this door opened up on its own one time. So I got a motion um, sensor on there. And I got one on the door that rattles from downstairs. Okay. Yeah, this was the chair here. I had one eye. This is the chair where... Um, let's see. All right. So are you going to try this right on here? Yeah, on the bed? I'm gonna, yeah, I'm going to sit on the bed and try. Um, we we could actually, do you want me to bring up that little uh, TV tray up here maybe? Uh, Sure. That might be a better idea. Okay. Just bear with me while I get this set up here. I'm going to try this the um, music box and see if Marie will play the music for me.
Okay, calibrates itself for where it's sitting at because it's motion sensitive as well as vibration, electronic field. Okay, now let's give it a little test. You hear the music box, Marie? I'm going to set this here. If you want to play the music, go ahead and come over here if you can make the music play. What's that? you want your red box up there too? Uh, sure. Okay. Uh, let's see here. What did I miss here? Oh, um, Ghost yes. Ranger? Ghost Rangers, she's working. She's not here tonight. Here we go. <laughs> Want me to set next address here? Antique store, third floor of it. Oh, there she is. <laughs> Cindy, that's you? Hello? The antique store, third floor of it. Okay. There you go. I was telling everybody, Cindy, about how, how great hospitality was, and thank oh, you. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, this place is fantastic. I don't know if I remember that, Tracy. Yeah, this Marie's room here has been super active. Yeah, I'm good. I might sit down here, too. Yeah, super active here. Are you going to sit down there? Okay. Yeah, put it next to the mirror here. Yeah. Um, hold on, let me... I want to make a big... Let me, okay, here we go. I'll set this here. Yeah, I better keep I it away it. from the dresses. If Cindy, if you're watching, I think it's official. <laughs> well, you can put it down over here, too. I think it's official. Marie um, was basically telling me she she uh, doesn't like these dresses here. I think that's the consensus that um, I was getting with the uh, detector. I'm going to set this right here. I uh, move things. Okay, I set this down right here, Marie. If you want to play some music, you can come over to the device here and play the music. There you go. Yeah, I was telling everybody, Cindy, about, you know, you don't find too many places that are like this, that are geared towards just paranormal research and there for everybody to come and experience it. And if you guys check into it, it's it's very affordable and um, it's great. And the spirits here have been really good. And we got supercharged right when I started the stream. Yeah, we, we were did. supercharged tonight. We were downstairs the whole night, and, you know, the EMF was just very low, if normal. And then as soon as I went live, it went off. I mean, it went crazy. It was going up to, like, 20 milligauss at some times, and it yeah. just was constant and would not, like, go away. I almost thought, I almost had to mute it. Okay, I'm going to take off um, this thing on me here. Um, yeah, hold on. I'm getting hooked on my gear. Okay. All right. Uh, Bear with me here. I'm gonna try here, to use. I'll tell you what. Let me hold. You want me to you hold it go again? Yeah, go ahead. You can. You can film it down. Yeah, because you're gonna be doing the thing. Yeah, I've. I've really. Um, I haven't tried this myself, so we're gonna see how this goes for me. Sure, I get myself in a good stable position here. Hello, whoever's here with me, my name is Mike, and I'd like to communicate with you. I'd like to know if there's somebody here with me. If you are here with me, can you make this device move? We are delighted you're here. Thank you. Can you make this device say yes? Move back and forth to say yes or side to side to say no?
that looks like. Here, look, I don't know if you can see it better from there, or how close you have to get. Um, let me get better situated here, because I don't think I'm, I'm in a good position. Sorry, that was me. Sorry. Is that you? Yeah, okay, sorry. I'm just like, what was that? That was my tripod, sorry. Okay. Right, if there is somebody here with me, can you move this device to yes or no? Well, I guess not. That was a dumb question. Desperate. I'm sorry if I'm confusing you. I don't do this too much, so give me a break. But if somebody's here with me, can you let me know? Gas. time staying relaxed doing this working the kinks out okay if somebody's there you can use my energy to help communicate with you but you cannot harm me I'd like to know if somebody is with me can you let me know if somebody's here with me? That looks... That's close to an affirmative. We're getting yes. Okay. Can you go ahead and slow it down for me? Yes, sir. Whoa. <laughs> it's a little bit tricky trying to keep this from moving on my hand very much. Can you slow down dependent for me? Okay, there we go. Thank you. Is this Marie? Look at that. Marie, is this you that I'm talking to right now? Hard. Did it say hard? Yeah. Maybe they're having a hard time using this. I'm going to set my camera down here for a second. 1900s. 1900s. I'm trying to get comfortable and relaxed. Okay, I'm sorry if this is difficult for you if you're trying to use this much better. Uh, it's better. Yeah. Okay. Are you able to uh, 
такое. Вон. Try something here. Have to get. Okay. I'd like to. Can you stop the device for me? Can you stop it? Stop it from moving for me, please, if you can. Picking up stronger like it's moving to yes, but elevator. Okay, if you're there with me, if this is Marie, can you let me know and say yes, it's you, Marie? I'm fighting. I'm having a hard time relaxing doing this for some reason, but I've never done this before, so. We could always try the dowsing rods too if you want to try that and warm up a little bit with that too. I gotta just try to get my arm and hand to relax. You're enjoying this. You're enjoying this. <laughs> Tell them they're like I'm, my energy's fighting. How's your day? It's pretty good. Okay. If there's somebody here, if you if you're trying to communicate with me, could you stop the device from moving around for me? good okay are you here with me Marie can you swing that more if it's yes Okay, can you stop the device now so I can ask you another question? Josephine. Go ahead and slow it down for me. I will flash the lights. Those dresses that are in here in your room, do you like them? Leonard. Do you like those dresses here by your bed? Okay, let's try again. Forevermore. Do you like those dresses that are here in your bedroom? I 
Albert. I'm sorry if you're having a hard time. If I'm, I hope I'm not fighting you. True. Everything seems normal in the thermal. First, I thought I saw a spot on there that was a little warmer on the board. Okay, so I was asking if you like the dresses here in your room. You think you can move this device, yes or no? Can you try and let me know if you like those dresses? Eternal terror. Huh. Said so that new board may need to be charged. Somebody said on here. I heard that. Did you hear the music yeah. box go? <clears throat> I might not be. Um, my technique might not be that good, and I'm just kind of. Tensed up a little bit. I'm going to try again. Okay. Marie, do you like those dresses here? A lot. What? Desperate. This said a lot after you asked. Do you like? You asked if you like the dresses here. I said a lot. I'm a child. I heard the opposite that you don't like them. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry, Marie. If this is if having a hard time with this. By the way, you have that right side up. So I saw somebody ask if you that was going off. Uh, if maybe you had the board upside down. Well, there's just two colors. There's uh, white and there's yeah. black. I think I can feel something pulling on it now. Yeah, right when that's going off too. Yeah, it feels like I can I can feel it moving. Here we go. I think it might be anomaly. Okay. Can you stop the device for me? Thank you. Marie, do you like those dresses in here that are in your room? Do you have brown hair? There it goes. I can kind of feel it moving. And it's... History. Feels like it's... Do you want me to bring that closer to you? Oh. I want to be able to see if I can see some readings. What the readings are on here. Um, it's gonna put this right here. I'm trying to get this focus on this. Yeah, no, I just want to 
you know, have it all on camera. Can. Hilda. Scared. I can I can feel it starting to move. I think it's starting to. I can like I can I could definitely feel when it's I can feel it like pulling. Like it's definitely pulling and it's not me, but it's like it's hard for me to hold that. I need to practice at it more, but I don't think I'm gonna hold everybody's Jeez. night up practicing it over and over again. <laughs> um, so should we do it? Some more. I'm gonna practice some more using it. Uh, maybe after later on. I'll yeah. Try again. Should we do uh? Should we do next? Maybe some dowsing rods or something? Or yeah, you want to try using the dowsing rods? I can. Okay, yeah, we gotta get balanced with it. Okay. How's everybody? Um, I don't know if um. Yeah, you can probably catch up on the balance and stuff. Yeah. Obviously. I didn't see chat. Uh, Ian it probably pops up may not have seen it. I was I saw a couple comments on there talking about maybe the board needs to be charged or something. Um and then Okay. Yeah. So uh yeah, it just pops up. I wasn't sure how to click it. Is it the the little bubble thing? What for the chat? Yeah. You just have to touch the screen. Well I was touching it and brought up like a menu or something. Oh, um I'm not sure. You just kinda like touch and swipe. Maybe you gotta swipe it. Yeah. Sorry everyone missed the chat. Um I'm going to try to catch up on everybody here. Did you hear my voice? Ed? Yeah? Can you uh, cross you these for us if you do not like the dress? Inject. Children's laughter fades. Um, no, show I'm not really getting a headache. Scratch. Scratch. Yeah, I was, I, I could feel it wanting to move. Like, I could feel it starting to pull. Yeah. I'm watching to see if, if it... That was like perfect coincidence with the, with the EMF, too. Feel this moving a little bit. I can feel it moving right. a little bit. And We're here. Do you want to point us in the direction? Do you want to start and ask if it's Marie, just to know if it's Marie we're talking to? It's moving. I could feel it moving this I way. I could see it pushing apart. But what is it answering you for about the dresses? Well, I was about to ask you, uh, can you point us in a direction where you are? Oh, okay. So it looks like My neck. it's trying to push that one in your right hand over here. And, well, I'm feeling a charge go up my arms. That's uh, crazy. Man, like, I feel it even my, my ear hair. That's crazy. Yeah. Is it? It's you. Okay. Moving over there. It looks like it's pointing. Yep. There you go, over here. I wonder if it's, are you, is it still moving? It's still moving, okay. Right here? Well, hello. So. Yeah, hello, thank you. Yeah, and I'm pretty sure I have these pretty square. Yeah, it looks like this one's a little shorter. 
Maybe you have to lengthen this one out. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hold on a minute. Yeah. Sorry, I didn't notice that earlier. But yeah, if you go ahead and, I guess, go ahead and get yourself reset. <laughs> Michelle. Well, okay. Um, actually, uh, let's ask the chat. What, what do you think would be a good question, maybe for them first? Uh, yeah, if you guys are waiting. Here um, yeah, this, you uh, can you can ask questions if you want, Ian. I'll um, I'll post that out to anybody in chat. If you guys think of a question you want to ask Marie, or just a question in general. Yeah, this is a um, live stream, so we might as well make it interactive, right? Yeah, yeah. So you can, if you want to ask Hello. some questions, yeah. We're getting some action on the REM pod over there. Hello, yeah, over there. And that's that. where it was pointing at when you asked where yeah. she was. So I think Marie's over here. It's all over here. Like, yeah. He killed me. Who killed you? Yeah, I just felt this. It like went back at me. Ask her to come through the portal, the mirror. Well, I, um, I, I'm not familiar with either opening or closing portals so i really don't want to do that yeah you didn't want to do scrying right. or anything like yeah, that. yeah or scrying either so i'm not comfortable um trying to do that because i definitely don't have experience with um with that type that type of um method and the rem pod is getting some interaction and that seems to be yeah i think it's i think it's marie too tracy you definitely seem to get an answer pointing that over that way when you asked where she was. It said woman. I think it said woman. Hi, Marie. I think we, we know it's you here. I'm pretty sure we're, we're, uh, we're understanding that. Thank you. Um, is Oh, Tracy, you asked, is it Marie? Is what Tracy asked to ask. Okay. Uh, so we'll we'll go ahead and double. We'll um. Is this uh, okay? Should we have a? We'll. Uh, listen. That <laughs> like. Whoa. whoa. That's like high energy, right? Well, hello, and I'm telling you what. If you could feel my arms right now, and I'm sitting in the chair, Dude, and I just, just realized too. I hope I'm not sitting on you. Too. Okay. Did you see the REM pod interaction there? Yeah. It was like it was playing Simon Says. This right one shot there again. Yeah. And I've got my recorder going, so guys, any EVPs I get, I'm definitely going to be posting up. I like it here. Okay. I know. Thank you. Yeah, Murray, is that you? They were in a oh, box. Whoa, in whoa, whoa. Whoa. That's you over there? <laughs> Did they just pull on you? Yeah, I like thought and pulled. Pull okay. Away. Well, they can do that too, Tim. Dowsing rods have been, you know, able to tell where water's at as well. Predict. Hey, Stephen, I'm good. Thanks for joining us. Stephen. Whoa. Stephen, <laughs> you just got. Hey. Yeah, Stephen. Somebody just mentioned you, Stephen, on the device right when you got in. That's funny. How's it feeling? Is it. Is it maybe fighting you a little bit too? A little bit. Uh, okay. Trying to get balanced, but I feel some resistance too at the same time. Yeah. See, I I not I don't usually do dowsing rods You're or nasty. thank you or use the uh, pendulum um, communicator board. So I that was like the first time I really tried, and I was struggling. I started to feel it, and I could definitely feel. I could feel it pulling. Um, I hear like a sort of like a buzzing. Is that my thing again? Oh, well, we just had another interaction with the uh, music box. Thank you. Getting used to all the devices. What do you hear? At first, I thought it was 
that buzzing because I was sort of getting used to it, but I feel I hear like feel. a uh, like kind of like a you, higher pitch you buzz. You hear a higher pitch buzz. Yeah. And with this, with the the readings we were getting and how I'm feeling this charge, maybe you're actually hearing some kind of static. It's only with my right, right ear. Yeah. That's towards the direction where she was. Maybe she's talking to us. I wish I um, had my... Hold on a second. What's that, Tim? Ask. You can put. Let's play a game. Ask Marie if you can put her on the dress. Put her in the dress. Oh, if we can have her put on the dress. I'm sorry. Tim wants you to ask if if she'll put the dress on. Or maybe, how about if she wants to put the dress on? <laughs> uh-huh. Okay, let's... If Marie wants to put the dress on. Marie, if you're... St Let me get these straight now through. Okay. Okay. Marie, can you... Can you, uh... What should we ask someone? Cross it or move it in the direction of the dress? To, if, if you want to put uh, it on? Um, you could say, let's say if... If she ask her if she wants to put the dress on, if she does to cross the rods, if she okay. doesn't want to put the dress on, yeah, I heard mm -hmm. that. Yep, I heard it. Killing. Okay, so Marie, if do you want to put the dress on? If if so, cross these. If not, push them apart. If not, push them apart or point it in the direction. Perhaps at the dress, so we know that that's definitely not something that you want. Oh, did it? Okay. So it seems like she wants to put the dress on. Or maybe whatever spirit we're talking to maybe does. Okay, well. Crossing is no. Okay, that's what somebody say, Constance, say crossing like is no. Thank you for respect. You're welcome. Okay, so crossing is no. Okay, so I'll um, Okay. Well, I, I think I've also heard people say, what show me what your, your no, like. Crossing is no, or. What no is to you, I guess, might be. Hear us whisper. Okay. Okay, well, yeah, let's try that first. Let's. Marie, what's uh I'm gonna have these like this. Marie, what's your uh cross them for no and then uh uncross you know, like spread these out for yes. What's what's no to you? Okay. Yeah, there you go. So, no, yeah, okay. Yeah, crossing is no. Okay, so you don't want to put the dress on. Yeah, um, yeah, Michelle, um, yeah, the dresses were um, found um, by Cindy, who um, owns this place. Um, they were found down in the basement, and she brought them up here and set them up here, and there's been a lot of... Uh, interaction i guess you could say with with cindy she has um understood that marie does not like these dresses up here so we were trying to see if we can get some communication to back that up just from being up here with her What's your name? um yeah. my name's mike and it seems like she doesn't like the dresses i think <laughs> we've come to that conclusion <laughs> uh okay all right. Well, I um, I really hope you guys all enjoyed this um, because, yeah, because this is her room. Yeah, this is her room. And, yeah, I don't know. Maybe it's she doesn't like the dresses in the room. Is that what you think, Cindy? She doesn't like them in the room is just the problem or you think she doesn't like them in general, like she just doesn't like their style? Yeah, is it? Do you, do you not like the color, maybe? Yeah, those are, I mean, those are questions you could ask her. Um. It's uh, it's getting it's getting uh, about the hour. I was going to um, end the stream here tonight, and um, oh, okay, wow, and that okay. 
So we were just talking about how she doesn't sure. like them. No. They're not hers. Yeah, I. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Healthy. Wow. Um, I. I mean, the REM pod. That was probably max hit. That's almost like somebody's. Somebody's grabbing it. That's. That's about the same. Thanks, Forrest. And I have to admit, this has been. You know, this was a. A pretty great experience here so far. The energy is so high here. And up here. We get to talk to Marie, and it seems like she's enjoying communicating with us, which has been great using the equipment. She made the music box go off a few times, and we've been getting a lot of electro um, field and the magnetic field up here. Some intelligent answers, too, with this yeah. talker. Yeah, and um, uh, the electric field has actually kind of slowed down. And um, if you've seen when I was in here how high it was, and how it just seemed to keep spiking out of nowhere. I think maybe they like to interact in different ways. Yeah, or, yeah, there's something to the strength of the energy coming and going, getting stronger, and then maybe fading away. Well, now, okay. I think talking about it, starting to bring it back, starting to get the energy back here, um, probably with Marie here. Um, but I tried to use the, um, tried to use the pendulum, and communicate and you know I, I am not too used to that and I was struggling a little bit but I think I started to feel the connection so I'm gonna keep working at that hey Ramona don't say keep the camera on okay <laughs> keep the camera yeah. on listen for my voice okay all right Tracy good night thank you thank you Tracy I appreciate it um, yeah, we never know what's going to happen when we go live, you know? And I've only... I, I did one of these at the Buxton Inn. I think some of you joined me when I was there. Hi, Angie. I'm sorry um, I was going to be ending the stream here shortly. Um, we're going on almost two hours. Um, so, we're going to uh, we're gonna go. Yeah, it, it, she did like talking to us here. If you um, got here late... Um, Ramona and Angie, um, yeah, watch from the beginning because it's been this. The energy here was was so high here, and it all started off right when um, right when we got here. Thanks, Jeremy. And okay. you got to see me try the uh, what do you what do you call the board exactly? I keep calling it a um, like divination board. Yeah, like pendulum. Pendulum. Yeah, like I call it a divination board to communicate. And I think I started to get somewhere right towards the end. Yeah. Um, and I, I could feel it start to pull. Like, I, you know, kind of like with dowsing rods. Yeah, uh, you can I feel the dowsing rods pull. Yeah. Uh, they they oh, should make well, it may be char charged Maybe. up or something. Because yeah. you, you could also practice with it, too, because you, see, you and uh, Ghost Ranger were doing really good with that on the she, Kent Jailhouse. So. Yeah, she was. Well, she's the only one that used it. She uh, she oh, was yeah. real relaxed and calm, and it was working well. For me, I'm I'm fighting with it, and I just need to practice some more. Well, there's um, just so much energy, whoa, like you there said. There we go here, again. So. Look at that spike. That's probably kind of hard Thanks, to Thanks, Marie. Relax. Thank you for talking, Marie. And uh, quite activity. I'm wondering if anybody heard anything, because I've, um, I've had live streams where EVPs were picked up, and we couldn't hear them at the time, and we had no idea. So if anybody um, heard anything during the live stream, if you want to bring back some, uh, some time stamps in the comments and just let us know what you heard, and we'll go back. Because that happens. That's a common thing. Happens a lot with picking up the EVPs. Yeah. Um, how often do I do lives, Jeremy? Well, I um, I try to do lives. I mean, I try not to go longer than like two weeks without doing a live. Um, but I put out more videos. I have at least one video every week. Um, you know, the cameraman and I are always always out and about and exploring places and. Um, sure. You know, my research kind of blends with um, getting into, like, some of the cryptid research with the cameraman as well as trying to, you know, focus on communicating with spirits. Sometimes I am I run into places where I'm able to do both, you know, while I'm doing one. Um, while we're looking for different kinds of activity, I'll pick up on what's there. Um, so 
you know, I'm, I'm always putting out content regularly with places we go. Um, this is one of the first places I've gone to with some really strong energy and, and communication. And you can tell that there's a presence here more than one. And you can see it if you watch this. You could see the the um, energy from the electro field energy, and the magnetic field energy is is so strong in here, especially. And it's just so it seemed like so random, but it's consistent in the area, but not always. So there's something to that to show that you know, wow, that's a that was a pretty strong spike. It's coming back again. I think she's starting to get energized again. Yeah, you're right. So. Um, like I said, I'm going to go ahead and end the stream. Thank you, everybody. Hope you had a good Halloween. And thank you for joining me. Um, wow. Okay. Thanks, Mark. Sorry. Um, it was a great stream here tonight. A lot of activity. So um, go back and watch it from the beginning. You'll see some of the uh, interactions we had were pretty strong. Yeah. Um, I. Yeah, I'm, I'm really, you know... It's not necessary. I don't feel like I'm in a hurry. I just, I feel like I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm kind of tense sometimes, a lot of the times. And there we go. Look at this. I'm getting that's, that's EMF and out, right? yeah, that's, that's strong. That's almost like somebody's grabbing the antenna. That's one of, that's like the strongest setting. So, you know, this is pretty good evidence here tonight. If, if you watch from the beginning, you could see how strong, um, the electromagnetic field and, and, the energy is here and you you'll see what seems like we're definitely interacting with um multiple spirits if not at least marie up here um what happened downstairs was wow it was like all of a sudden i think cindy was talking about how she felt like a group remember when cindy was telling us that yeah when she was downstairs um when she had the counter before and she actually left because she said there were she was like surrounded and there was a bunch of spirits around her and you all seen that when I started the stream, how we had that super strong EMF and electric field that was like so strong everywhere down there. And it was only like that when I started the stream. The four hours we were here before that, not a peep. So there's some, there's some interesting evidence we captured here tonight. And uh, you're going to see the rest of the video from when I've been filming during the day here and overnight because I'm going to be sleeping right here. And I'm going to have a camera in here with me tonight. Sculpture. And um, we'll see how that goes. And Ian's sleeping over here in the um, the old the twins' rooms. Or not the twins, but the boys. Yeah, she was called that. What was that? The, uh, what was the animal called that she said the room was in? Oh, 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 that's right. This was the... Um, the other room was, must have been the boys' room. I'm, like, I'm sorry if I was wrong. This was the... Um, uh, I'm trying to think of the animals they were. I don't know if, if Cindy's still watching, um, but they used to um, they used to. Uh, I'm trying to think of a it nice way like to put it. Yeah, they used to um, breed a certain animal, and they would skin them and use their furs for uh, making clothing. Yeah, it's like they would wear it around their necks or whatever. You know, like chinchillas. Skin. Yes, chinchillas. Yeah. <laughs> chinchillas. Exactly. I'm sorry. That was one of the things I didn't write in the notes. And you see what happens when I don't write my notes down. Yeah. The chinchillas. Yeah, this was the chinchilla room in here. This is where Ian's staying. Um, and that's where um, they raised chinchillas to um, make parts of coats. And, you know, it was a big thing back then. So, you know, that's what they did. And he's staying in there. And I'm going to stay in here tonight. We're going to continue. And I'll put together a video of what I've recorded and what I captured on the audio. And you can see the rest of the interaction here. So um, thank you, everyone, again. And I'm sorry if I missed some of the comments. Um, maybe Marie's saying goodnight already. Um, but um, thank you all again for being here. And happy Halloween. Good night. Everybody um, say good night to Marie. Marie, everybody watching, saying good night. Thank you, guys, and um, we'll see you on the next adventure. Hope you have a great night. See you next time. He's up. Hey, it's still spiking, and that's right I where I'm sleeping.
Good night, guys. Eternal Exile. Now recording from this because we just heard banging. Sounded like it was downstairs, yeah. didn't it? Kind of. Yeah. Did you want to check out the basement? Um. Did you hear laughing? I heard, I heard laughing. You did. Yeah. I heard, uh, just like, like that. Because like, I asked, you want to go in the basement? It's like, uh, maybe you shouldn't or something. <laughs> okay, let's go down in the basement. Well, yeah, we'll Hello? Somebody trying to get our attention. your name? Mike. Can you tell me your name? Tom. It just said Tom. Did it? Yeah. Tom. Well, hello. Can you make a bang for us? Yeah, does somebody make a bang on the, down here? We didn't actually tour over here. Yeah, she didn't take us over there, did she? Uh, Tom, hello? I was told that there's a man down here. He's got a really sweet mustache. What did it say? That my life was short? I think so, yeah. I heard like a or something. Tom, was that you? With the mustache? It's supposed to be... One amazing mustache. You see a device I'm holding here? Whoever's with me? Are you able to make this thing beep for me? Maybe if you get close to it? Just so I know somebody's down here with me. I was sick. You were sick. I'm sorry, my friend. Okay. We're not here, The same for you, okay? I thought we heard somebody making some noise down here. I thought maybe you wanted our attention. So we just came down to see if you wanted to talk to us. Walk over the other side. Mirrors. Mirrors? Yeah, there's mirrors here. Uh, feel free to uh, show yourself in them when we look in. Later. Let's see if there's anything that's putting off any kind of trail field or magnetic field here. I was told there's a little girl that's down here. Said, hey, that's not nice. I hope you don't hate anybody. I was told there's a little girl, her name's Anna. Are you down here, Anna? Can you show yourself? If you're here, Anna, would you come over to this device I'm holding? Can you make this beep for me? Can you come over? You want to try to hold it for me? It won't hurt you. Matthew. Matthew. The church. The church. 
How about um, my friend down here that's got the sweet mustache? I, I'm not sure if your name is Tom. If your name is Tom, if that was you, can you come over and, and make this device go off here and make it beep for me? It's humming. It's um, a furnace. Oh, uh, the furnace? Yeah, it's humming because it, the power's on. Yeah, that's. I hear the humming, but then it was like. Oh, oh, I didn't. I didn't hear that. Billy. Okay. Well. Michael. Michael. Yes, that's my name. I think that was me. Let me see. Hi. That was weird. What? That spike, it doesn't seem like that was me because it's not doing it. I'm really here. I was just holding it like right here. And I just got a spike. That was pretty significant. Huh. Okay. Really hear that, huh? Yeah. Well, thank you for letting me know you're here. Wonder if you can see if there's any like blood down here or something. Blood stain. Where's my body? I'm not sure. Um, at I think you might be buried. Can you uh, tell us where your body is? It might be. Hmm. I'll turn this back off for a moment. Okay, let me go back upstairs. Go back up and I'm going to take some photos. I'll start down here. Can you use a full spectrum? Yeah. Actually, I'm going, to use, I'm going to use my light to help me. All right. So, still at the Ross house yeah. and um, over in the chinchilla room. And we're going to see what we got in here. This is where you're staying tonight. Yeah, we saw some weird things on the laser grid downstairs. Oh, yeah, it's really close. Yeah, the laser grid, I saw some orbs moving around. And we heard that weird banging sound. Charlie, Charlie, are you there? Charlie, Charlie, can you play? And what's the question that we want to ask this? Ask what? Yeah, let's... Uh, Question um, to go to yes or no. Oh, okay. Question for. Oh, you start. Um, well, I guess. Haunted. Haunted. Um, I'm trying to think. Uh, are you, are you happy, wherever you are right now? Are you happy? Um. What's the name, Marie? Marie? Yeah, Marie. Marie's here. I don't know if she's over here, but she's in the other room. Well, if there's any entity that wants to answer, yeah, feel free to and move it to yes or no. All you have to do is just spin it. In either direction. Well, is there anybody that can move this little dial to yes for us? Is anybody able to do that? Are you happy? Can you describe can you describe what it's like where you are right now? Is it cold and dark?
Faces in fog. How do you feel about us being here? Do you, do you like us? Looks like that is enough working after all. Plays are good. We were asking earlier to if there's is there an afterlife? Does our energies continue on after we pass away? Private. Do you have any questions, Mike? If you can hear me, can you tell me your name? Just want to know who's here with me. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Where's this coming from? Did you do that? Thank you. So what happened that I heard and I come down was this um, impact or vibration detector. I had it taped to the door and I came out and it had 
come unattached on this one end and was still attached here but it swung back so uh, it's very possible that the tape came loose and it just kind of flung halfway down holding on to the bottom and just struck the door and this went off because I didn't have my camera on but then I heard this going off by the time I got down here it already was off so I'm going to try to retape it boy that was a it really gets the heart rate going there Yeah, I'm experimenting with this now. Did you hear that going off? What was going off? Um, you know that motion impact sensor I had on the door? Uh, the one that uh, is supposed to be locked or whatever? Um, the door that... I put it on the door downstairs. Oh, okay. The other one. It's the door behind... Um, what was the door that supposedly rattled over there in the other living room down there? Oh, yeah. Well, I was, um, I was there... Um, I was in the bathroom and just before I was done, all of a sudden I hear it squealing. Really? Yeah. Going, I'm like, oh, what the worst time possible. <laughs> so then I hurry up and finished and washed my hands and ran out there and, um, it was hanging by half the tape. Oh, really? Yeah, so I don't quite know. So you think you like it either like somehow if the tape possibly could have come off and it just swung down and went off when it like flipped down and hit the door, that's possible. So that's what it was and it's loud. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't heard it for a while. I forgot how loud it was to just now. Yeah. Well, I'll listen to that um uh I don't know if it's it might have just been me, but I, I thought I heard, uh, like, some whispering during that. And I thought I heard, like, an audible whispering, too, when we were doing the session. Hmm. Um, but I, I thought I heard also, I heard, thought I heard something after I, a response after I asked if there was an afterlife. And then before that, I think there was something there before I, uh, when we were talking about this thing here. Mm-hmm. Right before that, I think I thought I heard something. Yeah, I'm, uh, when I um, when I get this thing, when I get this back home, I'm gonna amplify it and listen to it. See if I hear anything. Okay. Well, a couple other t tests I want to do. Like, I do want to try the spear box in a little bit. You said you didn't mind trying that, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. So we'll do that, and then let's try this. Uh, you ask some questions with this thing here. Thing here. Thing here. Oh, whoops. Okay. Okay. Should be Should kind of mostly. I can turn it up a little, little bit. bit. I don't want that. The... This seems pretty good. Yeah. yeah, I was asking before. before. How did you pass away? Did you get to live a full and happy life? Are you in pain right now? I 
Yeah. It might be a good idea. Do you want me to put this out in the hallway? You might know? try it, sure. Just don't want to take it because Bluetooth might not go very far. I'll put it in the bedroom here. Okay, we'll ask questions in here. What was the name, Marie? I keep forgetting the name. Marie. Yeah. Marie, are you in the bedroom there? I'll go in. I can even turn it up. It's a little smarter in there. Maria. Maria, if you're here, you can talk through this device. Is that pretty good? Pretty good. Yeah, that sounds good. I did hear something strange after you first went in there and set it down. Oh, really? And you asked something, and then I heard something after it. It sounded, sounded strange. It might be 7 minutes and 44 seconds. I might go back and see if we can hear it. Yeah. I'm going to sit in a chair here. Is that okay? What did you like to do in your spare time, Marie? I feel some kind of a charge over here by me. Are you close to me? You know whose dresses those are? Would you like to go dancing? Would you like me to take those dresses out of your room? I was wondering about the doll here behind me. Did the doll belong to you? Mike. Yeah. yeah. Were you just moving something? It sounded like something looked like dragged. I didn't hear anything in here. Okay. Yeah. I've been hearing some whispers on here. It sounded like very, very faint. Uh, I have a, another idea for an experiment, though, actually. Yeah, then something started to say something on there. Okay, what I want to try is... Um, We're going to do that same thing, but uh, I'm going to have you uh, put on those those little earbuds.
All right, so we are leaving the Ross house. And just a little closer, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit in our experiences. Yeah. I would definitely recommend this place for anybody who wants to do any kind of paranormal investigating. There's great energy here, and it seems like there is a lot of energy. And I think we documented how much energy there was here through the live video I did and through what I videotaped here. This place is specifically operated with paranormal investigating in mind. You're welcome to come here. There are all kinds of interaction here. I mean, even, even Cindy who runs this place, she enjoys all the experiences, as you can see. All the people that have come here, she has taken a photo and has them on the board. And Ian and I are going to be on this board. She did take our photo. And then we've got the board here. Oh, yeah, is this, this is the board that we, you say we should take a picture of here? Yeah. Um, okay. Yeah, this is the board here from our experiences that we had. Just There might be some that I forgot because um, we had so many. But I did document on the board here our experiences. And everybody that comes here, she has these white boards for, for you to write on because she likes to keep track of all the personal experiences. That way it's just like a um, constantly building um, evidence boards and information for her so she knows, you know, some of the things that have happened here. Yeah. And, um, you know, it seems like the spirits that we were told are here seem to be valid. Got Anna and the man with the really nice mustache is down in the basement. There's the two boys, which I think we captured on the SLS up in the boys' room. Then there's the spirit of Alfred in here. Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you, man. I was and doing Alfred, SLS. what's that? I was doing the SLS when, uh, right before I was going to sleep. Yeah. Because I was messing around with the AI generation, the picture thing I was telling you about earlier. And I was getting like a weird SLS figure up in the, the upper corner above my static camera. Oh, okay. It was like in the corner and it was like horizontal. Huh. Is, I wonder if it was like, it was almost like it was like crawling on the wall or something. That's interesting. Yeah, I have that recorded, so. Okay. And um, this room here is Alfred's room and I believe Alfred was communicating with us. Um, I still haven't listened to all the audio, so there's that evidence, but... We had some sounds come from here, some knocks, some bangs, um, plus my device I had on the door there was a motion activated sensor, like an alarm sensor, and it did go off. It could have been different circumstances, but nonetheless, it did um, go off. And there are the spirits that are associated with these dolls that belong to four people who have passed away. And there's Peggy. And then you do have, at the bottom there, you have Gretchen. Then you have Susie. And you have Trevor. I did hear multiple voices come from this area. One of them sounded like, could have been a doll. The voice sounded like a doll voice, like, you know, from a talking doll that said hello. So even the spirits of those who were attached to the doll possibly could have been talking to us. And upstairs here. Then we have Marie's room here. And it definitely seems like Marie's in here from the what we documented. Marie's spirit is here. So the interaction in here was great. I did sleep in here. Um, I usually don't have great dreams. And last night, I, for the few hours I slept, I did have kind of a nightmare. But I usually have nightmares. So it wasn't anything unusual. And then there was the room 
room here called the chinchilla room. So we did have some interesting sounds in here and um, we did get some spikes, some electromagnetic spikes in here. But all in all, this place is great. I definitely recommend to anybody who wants to have any kind of experience, paranormal experience, this place is loaded with energy. Disembodied voices were heard. So I would say come check it out. Bel Air, Ohio, the Ross House. Oh, you can find their website, talk to Cindy, and you can get set up to come here for a public tour or for a visit, maybe an overnighter. And a lot of rich history here too, which you can learn all about. Probably on the website, I'm sure, or you can talk to Cindy and she will give you some more information. Yeah, she's but, really uh, nice. She's very flexible too. Yeah. Well, I had a great night. Sounded like you did too, huh? Oh yeah, definitely. I'm gonna go ahead and, yeah. and say good night. I've already said my goodbye to the spirits here, but I'm gonna say good night to everybody who watched this video and check out the live stream from when we were here. That's on my channel, Empty Paranormal Life, Halloween. We were here, stayed overnight, and the live stream was pretty amazing. You'll find that on my channel under the hall, um, a live Halloween stream. So good night from the Ross House, and thank you all for being here and watching the video. And I'll see you all on the next adventure.